What's going on everyone? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom in Meridian, Mississippi, and today we're going to be viewing this 2022 Keystone Alpine Model 3712KB. KB can be looked at as a numerous things from king bed to possibly even a king bath. And judging from the size of the 48 by 48 shower in the back of this model, I'm going to be going with king bath. You guys tell me down below what you think king bed or king bath once the video is complete. But right now I've got all the slides closed in to show you what it looks like going down the road. And you know without letting the slides out you're not going to gain access to the bathroom. But you will definitely have access to your refrigerator to avoid letting some of the slides out. But we're going to start on the outside going over the different weights, the specs, and dimensions before heading inside. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. Coming at you 41 feet, 6 inches in length. With five total slides, it's this 2022 Keystone Alpine Model 3712KB. Dry weight as this model currently sits of 14,300 pounds with a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,500 pounds. Sitting on about a 100 inch wide body construction. And the main construction is a 12 inch I-beam which runs all the way down. Hitch weight on this model in the bed of your truck of 2,810 pounds and here on the front of the coach you have a fully molded fully painted front cap with an automotive gray windshield allowing in for a little bit more natural light inside the model coach will be resting on a six point fully hydraulic leveling system six different legs there's two in the front two in the middle and two in the rear and that's about 12 inch, inches in radius direct line of sight of the kingpin are all your controls just by simply pressing a button coach will in fact level itself in the water management area with the sewer lines, excuse me, the water lines come directly to the floor connected to the water management area. Sewer lines, once you're finished camping, there's a hose, a, a pipe to store all of it. And there's a shot of that tankless hot water heater on this model. Check out the new colors. They made some subtle changes going into the 22 models. Changing more, they got rid of the burgundy I've noticed that was on the side. Two 14 foot awnings, and both of these are white in color. And it's a, almost a rainy day here in Mississippi, but you can see those white LED lights underneath them. Frameless windows all the way throughout. You can order this coach with thermal pane windows, and if you did, it goes into the traditional style. Well, it looks more like that. And as you can tell, <laughs> the steps do have a hydraulic cylinder to assist with raising or lowering. You're gonna have four different blindside cameras on this model. There's one. One on each side, one on the back, as well as one over the door. Heated and enclosed underbelly with nice big inch and a half thick baggage doors. Slam latches all the way around. This model does have 12 volt tank heaters, two whisper quiet. 15k air conditioners over 200 square feet of exterior heated storage compartments on this model coach has two dexter 7,000 pound axles here on the back of the coach fully walkable roof but you can get there by means of this rear mounted ladder 250 pound low capacity on the ladder there's one of the other blindside camera prep markers there you do have a two inch receiver and replace it the bumper. This is not for pulling an additional trailer, only a 300 pound low capacity, maybe for a bike rack or luggage rack. And here's a good shot of some of the exterior storage on the back of the coach as well. Coming right around, fully retractable 50 amp power cord, about 25 feet in length. And this is just full of, it fully retractable just by simply pressing on that button right there. That thing will retract itself. And all the storage just mirrors itself on the other side. Sewer connections on this model, you've only got one, which is located back here behind the tower, tire, excuse me. And all the pull handles are gonna be found inside of the heated underbelly there. Here on the roof of the model, two Coleman Mach Whisper Quiet 15K air conditioners. And there's a shot of that pre-installed solar panel. Something new they're doing different this year. So here's our model 3712 KB front living floor plan, but I feel like I need to go ahead and just start all the way in the back showing you what that KB possibly stands for. KB for king bed or possibly king bath, and you notice the step up leading into the back of the model 
front living floor plan with a rear bath, king size bed. However, in the back of the coach, 48 by 48 shower with a ceiling height inside of the coach already of six foot five. And this is to me, is by far one of the largest showers I have viewed myself. My arm is fully extended just to give you guys a general idea and just check out how much headspace you really have. Porcelain foot flush toilet, and you do have the solid surface countertops in the bathroom. Washer and dryer connections provided as well with a lot of store space for him and her both. Plastic sink with a residential style faucet. And here's a good shot of your washer and dryer connections in the back of the model as well. Sliding style doors leading into the master bedroom. King size bed with a raised headboard. LED reading lights on both sides of the bed with additional shelving maybe if you have a CPAP. Dimmer switch, which is really cool. It's always the simple things that I like to see in some of these models. Dimmer switch just to help you set the mood a little bit more when viewing at the foot of the bed. This nice 32 inch television and check out all the additional hanging space you're going to have. East to west hanging rods and all four of the hanging style closets here. Also want to point out all the wood inside the model is real oak. Three pull out drawers again at the bottom blackout shades in the bedroom area but heading down into the kitchen butler style pantry on this coach floor to ceiling pantry space with a sliding style door backsplash they've carried over the solid surface countertops inside the butler's pantry area all the way floor to ceiling so if you're a taller guy you're still going to need a shelf or a footstool excuse me to reach the top of these cabinets just really really high Coming around to the dining table area, six foot 10 slide box with this nice big picture window, frameless windows, legless table with no carpet anywhere inside the bottle as well. And you do have an additional leaflet or storage that could be there. You're gonna have two different types of shades and notice the balance on both sides of the windows, which does a great job of keeping the sunlight out, but you're gonna have day and night shades as well as the blackout shade as well. That way it does a really good, great job of just blocking all that natural sunlight out. The windows are already 80% tint and they do open just by simply twisting the knob. Even though these are frameless, if I don't break it, it's still quite nicely from the factory already still. Coming around, kitchen island in the middle, giving you a decent amount of prepping space. They're giving you the added leaflets to cover up the sink. Stainless steel drop-in sink with this high-rise faucet. Stainless steel appliances all the way throughout. And check out this really big insignia oven. Massive grates on the top also. Insignia stainless steel microwave. Looks like it has the built-in shelf in there as well. Possibly the, a residential style there. Check out the space in the oven though. I think it's huge. Definitely more for full time. Samsung stainless steel refrigerator French style. This does work off the built-in 1000 watt inverter while going down the road. Freezer on the bottom with the refrigerator up top. Wine rack also provided there as well. Coming right around, I'm going to show you the back side of the island where you're going to have more shelving, excuse me, more pull-out drawers as well as this really cool organizer for your trash can. Heading up, you're going to have more additional storage space, pull-out drawers, but this is where some of the magic happens. Tankless hot water heater controlled here from temperatures up to 130 degrees. And all the controls for your slide out operations, your lights, tank heaters, everything found from that monitoring station there. Heading up into the front living of the model, two more opposing slides and both of these are sleeper sofas. Now we'll let both of these out, showing you how much walk around space you're gonna have. Thomas Payne collection on all the furniture and you're still gonna have the blackout shades all the way throughout. LED lights on these two recliners here. These are also heated and massage. That's pretty cool there. Coming around to the entertainment center, electric fireplace, producing around 5,000 BTUs of electric heat. But if you don't camp in the winter, you can turn the heat off and just utilize the lights to assist with your guests moving around. 50 inch screen TV, 
and I've got it kind of halfway up to show you that, you know, of course it does tuck out of the way. Exposing this nice big automotive gray windshield. Blackout shades. So if you don't want the natural light, you can block it off. Just all around pretty cool floor plan, which gives you the maximum amount of storage space possible provided. I'm gonna go ahead and let out the sleeper sofa to show you how much walk around space you're gonna have. So now I have the living room laid out in a sleeping arrangement, but I failed to point out to you guys the central vacuum, which is located right there as you enter up into the gooseneck area. Sleeper sofa is laid out into its sleeping arrangement, sleeping room for six inside the coach. And to give you an idea on size, they're not quite as big as a queen, but they're definitely bigger than a full size bed. And if you're okay with letting out your recliners and they're touching, you could possibly recline in both of the theater seats there. MSRP, date and time of making the video of $101,046. For pricing and availability, check the link in the description down below for all the additional photos as well. Leave me a comment telling me what you think of this butler's pantry. Some people prefer a half bath there instead of that pantry space. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Come see us.